The Unexpected Origins of the John Wick Universe 25 minutes into the first John Wick, everything is going as you'd expect from a revenge-driven action flick. There was mythology, deep mythology, and according to the writer who first carved out the world under the surface, that it made any sense was a bonus. It's kind of like in those old vampire movies, you enter the church and you're safe. Says Kolstad. This room full of tattooed bureaucrats appears to be the beating heart that keeps the assassin world pumping. When John Wick murders someone at the Continental at the end of the second movie, it's the operators who inform the world of the bounty on his head by way of old-timey switchboards. Physical operators' boards and all that kind of stuff. The operators are making those calls at the behest of the most powerful organization in the John Wick universe, the High Table, a Supreme Court for Assassins, who've been running the show for 2,000 years. Kolstad admits that they didn't really have any specific ideas in mind for John's origins until the third movie. In John Wick 4 it will all make sense and explain the myth of the prequels as a unit.